Militia units come in, especially from Albany, but also from Connecticut and New Hampshire and so on. The American army is swelling very rapidly. Lincoln's right division also gets additional units. Some of them militia. Here we have Walcott's brigade, one of the most heavily administered brigades ever. We have a brigadier general, we have all kinds of officers, and we've got uh, maybe a, a couple hundred men, tops. There's, a, there's enough officers in this brigade to run about five regiments, but they have only 200 men or so. This is one of the problems with militia. The other militiamen were saying, ah, I'd really like to help out, but I don't think I can make it this weekend. Uh, you know, that's how the, you know, the militias uh, operated at the time, which is why the general staff didn't like using militia. A lot of them uh, would not use militia units if they could avoid it. All right, that brings me to uh, the next topic the death of Simon Fraser, which is likely to be the most controversial part of my book. Fraser was mortally wounded at about 3.30 in the afternoon on October 7th in the heat of the second battle at Saratoga. This was the tipping point. If Saratoga was the tipping point of the revolution, inside the battles of Saratoga, this was the tipping point of the second battle. This was the moment at which the German and the British troops under Burgoyne's command broke. It was also the case that although they were the finest army in the world at the time, they were completely unprepared for what was about to come at them. The Americans were without uniforms, poorly armed, practically untrained, but there were 15,000 of them and they were upset. So, uh, you know, that was the difference. 